In this video, I'm going to be talking about Ordnance Survey Maps. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing Ordnance Survey Maps. Now there's a load of different types of maps showing various different information. Some of the most common maps you have seen include political and physical maps of countries and continents around the world. Ordnance Survey creates a variety of maps with lots of different purposes and scales. The most common Ordnance Survey maps that we use in geography are Land Ranger and Explorer maps. Explorer is at a scale of 1 to 25,000, which means 4 centimetres represents 1 kilometre. Land Ranger is at a scale of 1 to 50,000, which means 2 centimetres corresponds to 1 kilometre. These maps display high detail of areas with features such as buildings and settlements, physical features such as hills, terrain, lakes and rivers, as well as roads and footpaths. These maps are commonly used for navigation when out walking or cycling and are important for anyone completing the expedition portion of the Duke of Edinburgh Award. The first thing you need to make note of is the name and the map reference number and this is really important so you get the right map for the right area. The next thing is the scale. This is always included at the bottom of each map. This is really important if you want to measure any distances on that map. The next thing is the key. And the key is really important for checking and referring to when you're looking at the different symbols that you find on an Ordnance Survey map. Contour lines display the relief of the land. And I'll be including a video on relief in this series. The last thing is grid squares. And these are really important when creating grid references for locations. I'll be including an extra video on how to construct grid references in this series as well. These are the basic things you need to know about Ordnance Survey Maps. Make sure you check out my video on relief and how to use grid references to pinpoint specific locations. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more in the Geography Basics series.